Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 is bouncing back higher, now in the middle of two ranges. Next potential resistance is at 16.598 and potential support is at 16.401. And today you do have Twitter and eBay reporting over in the US. So uh, there should be some interesting moves overnight if there is uh, some uh, unexpected uh, results in, in that sphere. So if you have a look at the UK 100, it actually spiked a lot higher this morning, but being pushed back down um, a fair amount so far, so this is looking a lot like a doji formation if this, was, if this was going to continue in this fashion. But potential support remains at 6713, potential resistance at 6774. Looking at the Japan 225, I can see dollar yen is, uh, is creeping up quite nicely, so you're seeing uh, a lot of, um, well it's obviously US dollar buying, uh, but I can see GBP and Euro dollar is actually showing a fair amount of buying as well. So you can see they were bounced there nicely of potential support at uh, 14219. This is Japan 225. The next potential support is probably around about the tip of this candle here, around about 14654. And obviously the longer term resistance remains at 14977. Looking at dollar yen in that instance, uh, you'll actually be able to see a move up towards that potential resistance at 102 spot 87. We're trading above both moving averages and the technical indicators are relatively neutral, indicating there could be further room for expansion. Now we do have a series of uh, data today, you've got UK GDP and uh, European um, consumer confidence and then you've got US CCI data. So there's a lot of fundamentals due out today which could be quite impactful in the markets. So if you have a look at crude oil West Texas, it's again in the middle of two ranges. Uh, there's additional flow coming from Libya. The second um, proposal with the rebels in that area, they had uh, some uh, ports held there. They're now allowing the flow of oil and oil tankers out there. So there's a little bit of pressure on the fundamentals of crude oil, but then of course you do have Ukraine continuing uh, to kind of deteriorate that situation over there just now. So potential support at 100 spot 61, potential resistance remains at 103. Um, looking at gold right now, um, gold has come off again, uh, bad day yesterday, trading below, or pretty much bang on the support level, but we're comfortably trading below the support level now, which is 12.95. So that brings open the next potential support at 12.67. Um, if we fast forward then onto Euro dollar, Euro dollar and cable had a big shot in the arm yesterday. See, so Euro dollar is having another attempt to break and close above 38.63 on comments from the ECB. Um, but as you can see there, real volatility yesterday's session. We're on the right side of it today, but lots of volatility still potentially in the mix, especially with that uh, business and consumer confidence figure due at 10 a.m. UK time. If we finish up with GBP USD, again, very similar, lots of volatility, another doji formation, graveyard doji formation right here. We're having another attempt to break above it, but we've not yet had a, a, a kind of convincing break and close above 68.20 for some time. So again, keep your eye on the economic calendar. Look at the chart form from updates from our global analyst team and make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.